So if you saw my video ranking every fight in the original Naruto from worst to best, then you more than likely peeped the common theme in that video of me poking fun at the wasted potential that is Rock Lee. It's really disappointing seeing the end of the series and realizing Rock Lee didn't really end up doing much of anything, especially when you consider how many fans feel as though Rock Lee is everything Kishimoto wants us to believe Naruto is. And uh, if you don't know what I mean by that, then you know what I'm saying, subscribe to the channel one day I'll talk about that and make a nice little video about it but uh, I'm sure most people know what I mean by that so with all this in mind I figured I'd do a video like the ones I've done prior where I look at the precise moment any hope for Rock Lee being a great character long term went down the drain in my opinion of course so let's just start this off being completely transparent do I wish we got more of Rock Lee yes but am I using that as the main knock on his character? No. After all, if Kishimoto or any creator of a story decides they have a limited role for a character, then that's their decision and they made it and we as an audience member have to accept that no matter how much we love said character. And sometimes writers are keeping the involvement of a character limited on purpose. Some characters work better having their arcs be short and sweet and to the point with the longer you drag out their story the worse they are because of it. But the difference between Kishimoto deciding not to do anything over the top or fun with say, I don't know, Akiba and him not doing anything with Rock Lee is Rock Lee was giving a strong build up in the beginning. It's super clear and evident that time, effort, energy, and detail were given to the mentality, the motives, and the overall characterization of Rock Lee, again at least early on. But in hindsight, the more you look at Lee, the more it seems like he exists more to help flesh out the characters around him and less to exist in the blossom within his own strong character arc. Before we hop into all that though, let's look at the precise moment I've picked out that demonstrates any hope of Rock Lee being one of the standouts from the super colorful, long cast of Naruto was completely gone. Sand Ninja? Am I still drunk or something? He is Gara of the Sand. Now, as a standalone scene, this is great, but when taking a deeper dive, it really holds back Lee, in my opinion. I understand that this is supposed to be a nice full circle moment for Gara and in turn the audience. The first time we really get to see Gara in action as the mysterious scary guy is against Lee and the first time we see him on his super road to redemption and being a nice laid back chill friendly guy is when he's backing up Lee. And that's all fine of course but it comes at the expense of Rock Lee getting what would be in my opinion a great win against what at the time was a really powerful opponent. But that's not the first time Lee gets shafted to bolster another character. After the whole Gara debacle and that whole fight where Lee quote unquote took permanent damage and never had the ability to be a shinobi again yada yada yada, Tsunade pulls up and miraculously pulls off a nice very complicated but very useful technique in which she is able to heal Lee from all the injuries that he took in that fight. This moment does a lot for Tsunade. It shows us that she is the real deal and really one of, if not the greatest medical ninja around because she did what so many others thought would be impossible. Again, Rock Lee was told he'll never fight again. But Rock Lee being a character who's pretty much based on brute forcing something until you improve on whatever you're trying to improve on and conquering whatever dreams you have set forth wouldn't it have been a lot more satisfying to see him find a way to heal himself or see him find a way to get back in fighting shape on his own considering the fact that you made lee lose the fight to gara i mean in some weird way of kind of concluding this entire semi half-baked story arc you have of Lee, it would have been a little nice to see him have some sort of get back that he acquires on his own. Even when Lee smashed Sasuke in their quick encounter, sure in that moment Lee gets the one up, but even that ends up feeling like it was only done to evolve Sasuke's skill in the narrative and give him the speed and prowess of Lee from their interaction. 
So much of Lee's characterization is pushed forward by the idea that he works harder than anybody you know. Shout out Mac Miller, if you know you know. And after really establishing his mentality to the audience and us really understanding that, yeah, Rock Lee means this and we're seeing it in action, we then get to see him have a shining moment, but ultimately be unsuccessful. And then his character just stops progressing forward outside of having a goofy drunken master gimmick later in the line, which makes him a gag character more or less. By the way, if you like that goofy nonsense with Lee, that's fine. I'm not picking on you, I'm just saying. In my personal opinion, it just steered him towards being comic relief and not a ninja we should take serious. I mean, I'm not quite saying Lee should have gotten the killing blow on Madara, although it would have been cool to see him open every gate and fight Madara instead of my guy, but that's definitely some personal opinion. I'm just saying it would have been nice to see Lee do something, anything of significance where he ends up backed against the wall and pushes through strictly based off his hard working merit. Not seeing Rock Lee live up to his potential as a character sucks a lot more than some other characters in fiction because it feels like it was super easy to do and Kishimoto just decided not to do it for some reason. And so because of that, sadly, we end up getting left with a big what if on our minds or either just forgetting about Lee altogether. And that's truly, truly disappointing thinking about his introduction, thinking about his backstory and thinking about what he kind of represents in the story of Naruto. That's the end of the video. If you enjoy it, I make videos of this quality or better, yada, yada, yada thing I say at the end of every video. Subscribe, man. Do all that fun stuff. I don't know. I'm leaving.